Stay cool. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. This is space. There's space all over the place. I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Even to see the planet as a single pixel next to the star would be a huge accomplishment. All right, y'all, I'm sad and I'm in a bad mood. So I'm going to talk about stupid stars and planets across the universe. Hundreds of thousands of millions of light years away. We're over at the San Francisco State News. This is University Communications. We're talking about the most eccentric planet known flashes astronomers with reflected light. Great. We just started and the titles already confused me. This is by University Communications on Wednesday, March 16, 2016. Hey, look, it's a hot Jupiter. Now, what is eccentric? It depends. If you're poor and really weird, they call you crazy. If you're rich and crazy, they call you eccentric. Did that clear it up for you? Did that clear it up for you? Well, okay, then let's go. Yay. Once again, we're looking at an artist's rendering because they cannot show you the photograph that the scientists took because you would laugh and not believe them. You would say, wait, you derived all that scientific stuff for your paper from those two pixels? Ha! Get out of town. GTFO, B. I guess it's GTFO, PS. Get the fudge out, professional scientist. Led by astronomer Stephen Kane. Whoa, I better not cross this guy. I don't know if Thor can handle a Citizen Kane. Making a lot of money is real easy. If all you want to do is make a lot of money, said Pentyworth. A team of researchers had spotted an extrasolar planet about 117 light years away. I think science and astronomy has an official law. Like, if you find anything super cool, it's got to at least be 20 to 100 light years away. It can never be like 0.5 light years away or 1.1 light years away or within our solar system. It's always got to be really, really far away. Anyway, they found a planet really far away, and it's really weird. So that's why we're talking about it. But maybe I'm just trying to inform you. Planetary science is in the hands of Stephen Kane. And what's more, Kane and his colleagues were able to detect a signal of reflected light from the planet known as HD 20782. A flash of starlight bouncing off the eccentric planet's atmosphere as it made its closest orbital approach to its star. The discovery was announced online February 28th in the Astrophysical Journal. Wait, what? What happened? A flash of starlight bouncing off an eccentric planet's atmosphere as it made its closest orbital approach to its star, perihelion. Wow, so they caught a glimpse of his planet, figured out its orbit, saw its atmosphere with one photograph, and they won't show us the photograph. <sighs> if you like it and you want it, put the Hubble on it, and then show us the photos. Whatever. Man, NASA cameras take like one photo every five days. And then they show us like one photo every three years. Great math. Why does astronomy have to be so depressing? People are like, why you cover all this NASA bullshit? I'm like, well, it's always a great metaphor for everything that's going on in real life. It's like everything we're told is bullshit. They're covering up the real evidence. We're having to pay a high price for it. It's like, what is so damn scary about the truth? Oh, yeah, you lose all your control systems. Where's the engine of the fear currency? All right, in this case, eccentric doesn't refer to a state of mind, but instead describes how elliptical a planet's orbit is around its star. Wait, that looks like Sedna's orbit. So maybe Sedna just gets smaller every time until it captures the star. That's interesting. While the planets in our solar system have nearly circular orbits, Astronomers have discovered several extrasolar planets with highly elliptical or eccentric orbits. Wait, how do you know it's not just a giant freaking comet? If all you got is two pixels, and you want to show us those two pixels, how do you know it's not just a giant asteroid or a giant comet? How do you know it's a planet with an atmosphere? Can comets have atmospheres? Can asteroids have atmospheres? What type of dog and pony show we got going on here? You guys just keystone copsed into my nuts, and I'm in pain, and I'm confused. And why can't I see these two pixels? You know, maybe there's four pixels. Maybe you guys are really good at taking photographs of shit 170 light years away. <sighs> okay. I shouldn't laugh at Stephen Kane. Sure, he makes a lot more money than me. More people respect him. Oh, right, whatever. This story keeps pissing me off. HD 2782 has the most eccentric orbit known, measured at an eccentricity of 0.96. This means that the planet moves in a nearly flattened ellipse. Traveling a long path, far from its star, and then making a fast and furious slingshot around the star at its closest approach. Maybe there was a bunch of giant gravity shit going on within the star field that just pushed everything together really fast. Did you ever think of that, huh, buddy? Oh, God. Here we go. Capitalist Freudian keywords that burst the bubble. HD 2782 offers a particularly lucrative observing opportunity. All right, so Stephen Kane and his crew can make a whole lot of money to buy his girl diamonds and furs. No. All right, so 
Steve McCain and his team are going to make a lot of money observing this object, apparently, <laughs> for studying planetary atmosphere of an eccentric orbit planet, a type not seen in our own solar system. Oh, really? Well, that's a genius sentence. The scientists say in the journal article, by studying the reflected light from HD 2072, astronomers may learn more about the structure and composition of a planetary atmosphere that can withstand a brief but blistering exposure to its star. Right, let me say again, I'm the biggest fan of exoplanetary studies. I'm the biggest fan of building new telescopes and pointing them at planets. But I'm also the biggest fan of, fan of showing us the photographs that led to these wonderful scientific conclusions. I mean, what type of crap is this? You know, like, why can't I see this planet that you have deduced so much from? Why can't I see this photograph that you've deduced so much from about this planet, this star, and this orbit? And you had to take more than one to figure out its orbit, right? I mean, if I've learned one thing from all that crap, it's that you guys need at least three, right? Okay. Uh, why does all this shit make me sad? So you guys started sad and upset, and now I'm no happier. Everyone's making money off bullshit. What kind of crap is that? I'm just trying to make an honest buck. Be honest. Funny and cool. Oh, uh, whatever. It's a sad day in the neighborhood. It's a sad day in the neighborhood. Kane is a member of the science team for two upcoming satellite missions. Tess and Cheops. They will have HD 20, 7082 in their sights after they launch in 2018. Uh, that's if the economy doesn't collapse and we break down into World War Three. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so now I've now read two stories in one day is about amazing, stellar, and exoplanetary findings by scientists and their amazing telescopes, and neither one will show me the photograph. What kind of shit is that? Seriously. Someone's like, I painted the greatest painting of all time. I'm like, can I see it? They're like, no. I'm like, why not? And they're like, science reasons. I'm like, what type of bullshit is that? Isn't NASA publicly funded? <laughs> Isn't that right? I mean, are you giving us the conclusions, not the things you made the conclusions from? Protect our own interest. Like, what kind of, like, what, what, what is going on? WTF, man. Why can't you talk straight to me? Thought you were a university. Thought you were one of us. Or I didn't know you were a big science. Asterisk. I kind of did. You know, universities and corporations are hard to tell apart these days. All right, I'm done. Whatever. <laughs> help. I need help. I need someone. Send me a wave of prayers of happiness. Send me something. Right? Okay. It's all too saddening. Peace out. God bless everyone. Uh.